In this lesson, I'll demonstrate to you the allegation alternate method used for determining relative amounts of components for desired mixtures. For this tutorial, I've prepared five questions, and normally you would need to know how to do this in a pharmaceutical setting. So question number one reads, in what proportion should alcohols 95% and 50% strengths be mixed to make 70% alcohol? There are two main ways to do this. One is a strict algebraic approach, and another one involves using this schematic. For the sake of simplicity, I'll only be showing you one method, and that involves using this chart. So in place of A, one of the percents given in our question is 95%. So I'll write down 95%, and I will create the chart for you. The other solution is 50%. And what we are looking to achieve is a rating of 70% alcohol. To find out how many parts of each of these we need, you have to do the following. First, subtract 70 from 95. You get the following. And that value, whatever you get, will come over here. So 95 minus 70 is 25. This is how many parts you will need for solution B, which has the 50% alcohol. To find out how many parts of the 90% solution, you take 70 minus 50, and that goes up here. 70 minus 50 is 20. So you need 20 parts of the 90% and 25 parts of the 50%. We'll write it down as a ratio, 20 to 25, and you can be elaborate when you create your chart here. I didn't write it down, but you should write down percent desired over here and proportional parts required over here. So you need 20 to 25 parts for each of these solutions. Now you do want to reduce your ratio. What number divides both into 20 and 25? The number 5 works. So we have 20 divided by 5 makes 4, and 25 also divides into 5, and it becomes 5. So 4 parts of A and 5 parts of B. That's the answer to question number 1. Let's answer question number 2 using the same method. So in this question, we're asked, in what proportion should 20% benzocaine ointment be mixed with an ointment base to produce 2.5% benzocaine ointment? Now the tricky part here is understanding what ointment base means. The ointment base contains no active ingredient and I've made a note of it over here. All right, so let's use the same approach as before. We have percents given as our first column, our desired percent, and the parts. Part A has 20%. And part B is this ointment base. The ointment base has 0% of the active ingredient. So you write down 0%. The desired strength is 2.5. So let's find out how many parts of B we need by subtracting 20 minus 2.5, and that gives 17.5. That's how many parts of B we need. And to find out how many parts of A we need, the 20% benzocaine ointment, we subtract 2.5 with 0, and that value goes up there. 2.5 minus 0 is 2.5. Adding 2.5 and 17.5 means that there are 20 parts in total. And what we will do now is write this down as a ratio, 2.5 to 17.5. And we want to reduce this down. So to reduce this down, the easiest way, in my opinion, is to find the lowest number in the ratio, which is 2.5, and divide both of the terms by 2.5. That's another technique to reducing ratios. So 2.5 divided by 2.5 is 1, and 17.5 divided by 2.5 makes 7. So you need one part of the 20% and seven parts of the base ointment to go down to 2.5% benzocaine ointment.
Questions three, four, and five are a little more complicated because they involve more than two components that are being mixed to get the final outcome. If you would like to see the solutions to questions three, four, and five, make sure you watch the second part of this video. I hope I've grabbed your attention and that you will watch what I have in store next. Hope to see you soon.